talking about TJ from Richard was possibly one of the craziest fucking things ever set to flop at that time. That was really cool. Artemis, you did a, f a fucking phenomenal job with that. Just absolutely incredible. I would love to see both their final 1042 side by side now. Oh man. Did you ever see Rain's Lop meta animation? I did. It was off stream, I believe. But yes, I, I did. I did. It was fucking amazing. Honestly, the amount of work that goes into some of the inspiration from, from everybody is like just, it, it's fucking incredible. I didn't get to see either 1042. Yeah, I think, um, I think, uh, Flops 42 was definitely hard. It was really good though. I, I'm very, I, you know, what's so funny about everything with TJ, me out of character or in character, didn't really know <clears throat> TJ's reason. It really like was, I had no idea the parallels between TJ and flop until Flop and Sean started interacting, to be honest. It's scary how close they are to each other. Well, I like I said earlier, and I know you thank Ziggy for being a good role player, but I wanted you to uh, know we see you as, as such too, sir. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I, um... Man, I... When I tell you that I... That line about hesitating as well. Uh, TJ said nearly the identical thing to Bundy in 3.0. Which which point? The uh The McNulty better not hesitate. Ooh. Wait, I wanna see this. Hold on. I knew these meta freaks would have this. Hold on. But effective January 28th, 2022, badge number 499 has gone 1042 for the last time. Uh, if you see Terrence Walker or TJ Walker on the streets, uh, he is no longer considered to be one of our friends, brothers, um, you know, family members, whatever you would like to call him before that. Uh, he is now a member of the BBMC. And that is oh. the announcements from Shift 2. Was I here? Holy fuck. That's crazy. Holy shit. They wrote him off entirely for leaving PD. Whereas Flop left the PD with good intention and good heart, uh, TJ left with the middle finger in the air and pretty much said, fuck you. And in fact, I remember when, when TJ left, I actually remember when he walked out and he said, uh, if you see me, don't hesitate. I, I hope you, fuck, so, so someone sent the clip. I, I don't remember what TJ said. He said something along the lines of, 
if you see me i hope you don't hesitate because i won't yeah yeah yeah, yeah. tj um tj had a really cool story so whereas like the the inverse of flop leaving to go home quote unquote tj left to go to his family whereas flop is kind of essentially going away from his family oh here it is yeah no flop flop was very annoyed with the pd he just he wasn't as vocal about it but or T, tj kind of tj kind of like one foot out the door with the pd next foot into bbmc flop's taking it very slow okay you good brother walker what, what are you talking about come back over here badge on the desk bass badge on the desk why are you quitting huh why are you walking away why are you walking away give me an answer don't be a fucking pussy jesus christ if you actually need to quit walker give me a good reason to why you should quit so that way i can swallow it I'm sorry. Wait a fucking minute. Okay, I thought that was flop. I was gonna be like, I don't think I was here. I can't hear you if you're talking. I've got one thing if you request of you, Bass, and that's it. It's not a reason. The time comes, don't hesitate, because I won't. What? Jesus Christ. Talk about it. Oh my God. Oh my God! Are you serious? What the hell was that? You've changed, Walker. You've changed. Head zone. Sorry. Okay, you're good, brother. God damn. Don't hesitate because I won't. Damn, I'm just realizing the more parallels now. Fuck. Why is my car? Thank you. If you go down this path, I'm worried. Then worry. Ooh. I'm realizing so much right now. I'm sorry. I think TJ's soul entered Flop's body. I think so. Watch some amazing edits that were made. I, I absolutely will. Uh, all right, let's, let's, let's get out of Polito. I just had to park this so that it was. I can't wait for the part where flop permits from a headshot now. That's crazy. Yeah, McNulty's become Flop's bass as TJ was to bass. Does Flop have a perma condition? I have perma conditions that I will never talk about. But yes. One of the best edits. Should we watch the TJ edit real quick? Uh, random question, but how's your gout stuff? I remember you talking a lot about it. Yeah, I going um, undiagnosed was like one of the worst feelings in the world. But uh, now that I've kind of got it under control and I sort of know what caused it, I have been taking a lot of vitamins. I take so many vitamins in the morning right now and I've been, dr I've been eating and drinking so differently now that uh, I've kind of buried the pain. It comes up every once in a while, but overall I've, I've been able to maintain the gout pretty consistently, so. Yeah. Right, let me see. Uh, wait, did we watch this?
We did watch this. Badge on the desk, Bass. Wait, did Chat, did we watch this? I think we did. Badge on the desk? Why are you quitting, huh? Why are you walking away? Well, let's be honest. Look at you right now. You're not a cop. I've watched so many edits recently. I, when I say I've watched probably close to 10 edits at this point, it's hard to recall. Did we not watch this one? Okay, hold on. We'll just play it again. Who cares? I pull this up to split my ADO. Let's do it. Hold on. Ah. Ah. Okay. Oh my god, AP pistols? Holy shit. I remember that mask. <laughs> Who slumped? Oh, seven Jordan. Damn, dude, Bundy was so willing to just... On. You know what's really funny about Bundy? Bundy knew how to care for somebody, yet completely disagree with them.
Holy shit, that was good. Bud Dad wouldn't have given us ultimatums. True. I wonder what Bundy would think of the ADMC. You want a crazy uh, take? Flop believes that Bundy was one of the biggest grounds and foundations for him in the PD. I think if Bundy was around this PD, Flop probably would have stayed. And if Bundy survived that long and didn't give up, Flop would have been there. The flip on that is I think Bundy would have left. SCU was the best detective unit. SCU was great. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Gemma. Would Flop have followed Bundy uh, if, if Bundy left? If he didn't, he would have been very close next to him. Richard motherfucking Dark. That's crazy. Oh man. So I, I didn't get to, I didn't really get to talk about it, but when Edda was in the hospital, uh yeah, Flop doesn't care about who this motherfucker is in Polito, but if he ever gets a chance to shoot him, he'll fucking lie straight to the police and say he was reaching. Um with that said, um I uh, Flop did not tell Etta about what happened with, uh, what do you call it? Dark seems more of the bass of this story. I can see that. Yeah, I think a Barry Flop talk would be really unique, but if you want my honest opinion, I don't think it'll happen for a while. Why doesn't Flop care? Because someone hurt his family. Flop doesn't have any moral obligation to please the PD anymore. Flop will put a bullet in someone's head. Especially if they hurt his family. And claim ignorance. Who is your Bundy? It could be Matt, but it's too early to say. Yeah, Flop didn't want to worry, Etta. That's what that came down to. Uh, let's see who's around. Yeah, I think McNulty is uh, definitely a flip that uh, Flop does not like. As funny as that is to say, I, I, I do think that the the inverse of where Flop is at is McNulty. Flop genuinely uh, believes that the moment he gave up on the PD was the moment McNulty did him wrong. Also, we could talk about Barrick for a minute. Shit. You bring up a good point. I almost feel like Barrick may, might quit the PD. I can't tell, but it's getting dangerously close. Yeah, I, I would say that when McNulty did flop wrong and promoted Declan and all that shit happened, I think that is the exact point. Uh, when flop gave in, it was just like, fuck it. Um... Anyone around? Fuck. Mm -hmm. 
Barrick legit seems like he might leave the PD. Well, Flop asked him when he was retiring. He's like, what's your plan? And Barrick's like, I don't know. But Barrick does sound like he's like kind of in the same boat. Make no, they call me Flop a liar. Got the ball rolling and a snowball from there. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying that Flop would immediately be violent toward McNulty, but Flop has no problem telling McNulty to his face how he really feels. Out of anybody, McNulty is the pinnacle of what Flop dislikes about the PD. I, don't, I, I wanna say this for the people in the back. Flop believes that McNulty is what is wrong with the PD. I, Chris, do not fucking believe that. I think Custard is fucking amazing at roleplay. And that's why McNulty is enjoyable to have as the enemy. <laughs> so. Uh, we can probably do some Mosley's for a couple and just kind of talk. Talk about some RP for a minute. Yeah. Nothing but love OC. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Dude, I, listen, I, maybe, maybe I'm wrong to like say this because it's a little selfish coming for me, but I keep, I keep thinking about all the role play in 4.0 so far. And I feel like up to this point, I know, you know, small fish, big pond, I guess you could say, right? But the role play from everybody has been of the utmost phenomenal. It's, it's especially funny because Custy is a shitter and will lean into the role play. Oh my God. That's what makes him great. I, I genuinely think that this has been some of the most uh I think this has been some of the deepest role play 4.0 has seen. Put simply. I'm biased and I don't really care, but I wouldn't change a fucking thing about this arc. Do you think the PD will ever get better? I mean, respectfully, I think as a community, people forgot that the, the police department was meant to be in a suffered state from the beginning if people saw the lore, right? PD was not meant to be in good standing when everybody came back to the city. Quite literally part of the lore, right? And I think a lot of people forgot that. Um, ooh, ooh. They good? Fuck. Yeah, everybody had to rebel. So it's flop like fuck you, PD, but quietly. You could say that, yeah, yeah. That that's that that's a good way of of putting it. The thing with flop is that he loves his job. But the police department has absolutely been like a fumble for him through and fucking through. And I would go as far as to say that part of the reason it fumbled is because Flop feels like the Flop feels like that the police lacks empathy um, and does not care for their own and feels. Oh, my God, that fucking sucks. Sorry, guys. Ooh, that sucks. Was that a local beating a local? I just realized that might have been a guy dead. Would Flop ever consider trying to destroy the PD from the inside, convincing people to leave, etc.? No, because Flop wanted... So all Flop wanted was his space and privacy. 
to come to his own determination and flop would have been upset if people tried to force his hand to do something flop made the choice to leave on his own sort of time frame a guy dead that sounds like a pd problem true i also drove right by this where are you going uh in the wrong direction but yeah i don't i don't think flop gives a shit enough to i i, I think people see and know why flop left i mean matt himself called the pd a meat grinder hey ben dio you been good brother sake isn't this electric yep oh and it's so slidey oh my god oh wait this is a dilettante this is what we use for the the d boost i've updated it to the new racing fit on the art i did Ooh, is it a recent art post oh my fucking god dude what dude Dude. Oh, I love that so much. Oh my God. That's so good. Holy fuck. That's amazing. Thank you so much. That is incredible. I'm going to say the current fit is probably what Flop's going to stick with for now, but... No, I, I figured that was the actual plate. So cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think Flop is like one to give a shit. I think Flop wants the PD to do the, their thing. How do I say this? Flop wants the PD to do their thing as much as Flop wants the PD to respect him doing his thing. Jesus Christ. Ooh, that is actually a guy. Damn. I think Tally's rubbing off on us too much because the first thing in my mind was let me go help him, but after hanging with Tally, every time someone crashes, Tally's like, oof, El Bozo, fuck off. GG. Sucks to suck. <laughs> God, this thing is a keeping piece of shit. Kid, yeah, but I don't know. Um, oh, speak of the devil. Oh, shit. What really good? Hello, good morning. Um, Teddy did something amazing that no man has ever seen my whole life. Oh, no, he uh -oh. corralled so much trash. Oh, my god, did he? Yes, you should see it if you go to the block. <laughs> You go to the block and you'll see all the trash. Aww. Oh my god. Wait, that's actually amazing. I you know what? I'm so happy for you. Honestly. <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, you grabbed that one too. Also, I'm I'm, 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 I'm about to drive an emodium hybrid. This thing's a piece of shit. Oh my god. Oh god. Is it pink again? No, it's 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 emodium green. It is fucking disgusting. It's green? Oh, it no. it's like ugly green. It's like it looks like uh 
it's quite it's not quite lime but it's not quite like sprite green either it's like mm. it's it's disgusting it's sprunk green it is brighter than sprunk it's like Ew. peppermint Ew. it's gross i don't like peppermint i don't like peppermint you don't like mint okay so i like those like one mints that are like chewy very very like soft and pillowy that you give him like, like dinner like like a fancy restaurant you or like okay you like the fucking i forget what they're called but you like the little dinner fucking yeah you go to that, olive so that, i just absolutely fucking murdered <laughs> absolutely fucking annihilated <laughs> what did i say oh no, he's so pissed off he's not even gonna stop and talk to me <laughs> oh god who Who'd you annihilate? <laughs> Singing? Who did you annihilate? Because I, I love, I love when I hit people and they get pissed off and I'm like, all right, I'll go fuck Ooh, myself. Okay, okay. God, I, I need to send really? you a photo of this car. This is the ugliest fucking thing I've ever seen. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Just, oh, it's going to be hard on the phone. Hold on. Uh. Okay. That, that, that works. All right. I, Apparently, there's there's more trash in the mirror park as well, Teddy. It's something. It's Faye was trying to tell me, but I couldn't hear. Her. No, you're good. Check that photo. Look at how fucking ugly that thing is. This might be the worst green I've ever seen, and I'm not being sarcastic. Ew! It's like that fucking Tommy T group. Yeah, it's 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 fucking that high. It's it's worse than a modium. I didn't even think you could get yeah. worse than a modium. Wait, hold on. I just got something. Ooh. Scan device. God damn it. I want that blueprint. Which blueprint? No, it always reminded me. Like, whenever I see, like, Tommy T with his, like, fucking, like, green ass, like, car. I was like, you know what? If someone made a puffer jacket into a car, that's what that would be. <laughs> I don't disagree that with sense. that. Yes. Makes no. sense. Like, that makes sense, right? This is definitely, like, fuckboy puffer jacket. Yeah, like, I, I can just... What a crazy lineup of analogies. That's a, that's a... The fact you made that connection is incredible. Either that or, I like... I'm actually really good about that. I don't know why. This is, like, a puffer jacket green, or this is, like... I do track, and just, I, I you... bought bright nikes you look, for you, my track you fit. look like you wear a puffer jacket like if i if like if these like windows were not all blacked out and tinted like i would swear you say mate and wear a puffer jacket i can taste the cockney in the air i can i can almost smell the ends what, what, did you, what the fuck did you just say i don't know they always talk about how they, they're from the ends and stuff like that and i don't know british things <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, sure, 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 Tally, sure. You don't I'm, know about me. I'm Tommy G. That's all I, that's all. <laughs> In it, bruv. I mean, he was a cutie. I mean, I'm going to say that. I wouldn't say I wouldn't. Then again, I wouldn't say I wouldn't to a lot of people. So, oh, Tally, I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking you'd fuck a brick wall if, if you had to given the opportunity. I'm not Cap, okay? I wouldn't fuck a bent, okay? I'm not that desperate. All right, all right. Okay, okay. I believe you. Trust me. I, I I'm not bullshitting you. I 100% do believe you. It's just not my fault. There's like really cool people here. Man, oh, I'm fuck. just a slut. I swear. I'm a slut too, but I'm married. I get it. You got hub. All right, you do you do your 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 Mosley thingy. I'm gonna go do this Sandy shit real quick, and okay. then I will hit you up. Yeah, sounds good. We'll link up. We'll uh, we'll shoot the shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Your Mosley, your your Mo like three jobs with Mosley's tanked my shit. Really? Yeah, like oh, I got done at two seventy five. Listen, I, I I gotta get in with this mechanic shit. I know. I got a job at Milton's. I, I gotta start fucking. I gotta lay down. We are the Romeo and Juliet of the the Civ job world. Actually, that is bullshit. You're right. All right, you do your thing. I'm. I'm uh, whoop, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I blame the Sandy guy. He's just a persickety bitch. So. Preach. You know what? Fuck it. Preach. But oh my fucking local and my asshole. What is going on? Okay. Sorry. Um. <laughs> all right. I will give you a call soon. 
Alright. Later. Bye bye. I sent you an edit I did on Discord. It's only a minute long. Not sure if cringe or good though. Do you want to watch it on stream? I'm down. I fucking love the edits. There, I I love every single edit that I've seen so far. Sure, hell yeah. Let me take a look. Hold on. Is there DMCA music? Okay, I. I got this. Never dramatic and good. I mean, it's more of a meme edit. Okay, okay. I think, uh, okay. Let me hear it. Hold on. Oh, wait. I love this. Okay, nope, nope. We're, we're just going to watch this on stream. I'm not even going to split the audio. This looks like it's going to be really good. I fucking love. Okay, hold on. I love this stuff. Okay. Oh wait, it is a it, Fuck. Wait, this is DMCS. Fuck. God damn it. Hold on. Let me cook. I got this. I fucking Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. Let me cook. Seconds. Hold on. I need zero. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Nice ride and stuff. Hello. Uh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Wait, this song is so accurate to fly. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, that's so fucking. <laughs> oh my god, can you post it in my Discord? I feel, I feel like people would love to see that. McNulty and Forte are such perfect picks for that too. Holy shit! I was in the middle of talking. I, I think it was Tally, and I'm like, why? I'm like, why does Kirby want to know two people flop hates? Oh my god, that no, that that's good. I love that shit. That is fucking great. I, I, I don't know if you wanted the whole thing. I, I mean, I'd, I'd watch the whole thing. Absolutely. But I, I need to confirm. No, you're good. You're all good. The lower we going, burr. Kirby, if, if you want to finish that, I would absolutely. I, I will tell you, I. Uh, I, I noticed you, you did miss, misspell Forte. If you wanted to fix that and do the whole thing, I would fucking... That that song screams flop. Screams flop. That was fucking incredible. Don't feel forced to, though. That, it's just... That, that was really good. Uh, it's F-O-R-T-E. I love Hell of a Boss. Oh, man. You had it right. I, I, I just think you had a typo. 
I think it was F-O-T-R-E that you spelled it, which is okay. It's fine. Yeah, I never realized that that song was so accurate to like flop. It's okay. I dyslex it all the time. I'm bad with texting. I'll read like half a text and then just fucking, I don't even know. Hasman is so good. You know, it's funny. I'm not a big animated person at all. Uh, I have to blame, severely blame Kirby for getting me into Hasman Hotel. It's such a good show. It's such a good show. I was told, just try it. Just, just check it out and see, see what you think. I think you'll like it. And I'm like, all right. And we started watching it. First episode, I was like, holy shit. How did I not know about this? Amazon was like, oh yeah, this is going to make us money. Honestly, though. Ooh, I haven't driven a Buffalo before. Is this a Buffalo? Wait, what is this? This is some like... My dad's a lawyer bullshit. What the fuck is this? Why does the back look like that? Why does this car have a butt lift? What like what the f what is this? Dude, what? Why is the why is the ass like that? I hate that. <laughs> why why the car have a crimson chin? A caked up BBL. <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back. Wow, I hate that. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I gotta admit, Amazon every once in a while comes through with a banger and I'm like, you know, they knew what they were doing and they did it well. Hold on. The boys is definitely a good show. I heard this recent season wasn't that great. Granted, I've only seen a little bit of it. I, I didn't continue watching it, but oh my God. <laughs> Tally, fuck it out. Last episode helped. Okay. I mean, that's honestly why I didn't watch Game of Thrones. Cause I heard, uh, I don't know. Um, everybody said that the last season of Game of Thrones was bad and everyone's like, oh, the show's great, but the last season sucked. And I'm like, dude, I'm not going to watch X amount of seasons on a show just to be disappointed. I'm good. If a show has a shitty ending, I get really mad. Like Ozark was a great show on Netflix. Phenomenal show. Ozark through and through, great show. I loved it. It was a really, 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 really good show. The last like six episodes of the last season was fucking terrible. <laughs> like the whole show was slow paced and a build up and nice. And then the last six episodes, it was like crunch, like people died and like just 
stories ended without like actual closure. It was it was fucking weird. Dexter makes that list too. I I Hey, you didn't see a fucking thing. This thing bouncing like a butt lift. Fucking hell, man. What the fuck? Is this a local? Excuse me. Watch Dogs Legion was so bad. It made me not want to play another game for a month after. Oh, God. I have a question. Speaking of games that were turned into like movies or TV shows that were shit. How's the new Borderlands? I've heard it was beyond atrocious. And then I've also heard it's just okay. Is it even worth seeing? The trailer just seems awful. Is it in uh, in theaters yet or no? Chad, guess the color. Guess the color. Guess the color. I'm saying, uh, blue. That's disgusting. That is actually piss yellow. Holy fuck. That's like a piss, piss yellow. Jesus Christ. Dude, if you drive a car in this color, I'm making fun of you. What the fuck is this? I'm sorry. This is not, this ain't worth the money. I'm sorry. Yeah, th th this actually is baby shit. This is disgusting. That's funny. It's Kizu. Yeah, this is the I wear my gold Rolex, but it's actually fake and I bought it from wish.com. I think kids who texted flop and I feel bad because I didn't respond. I was, I was so lost in the sauce talking about shows and shitty endings. They just it like sent me for a loop. You know what show had a really good ending and I want to rewatch it, but I need to watch it with friends. I need to find like somebody who really wants to watch the show with me because it's such a good show, but it's more fun to talk about it than it is just to watch it was Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot was a phenomenal show. I would actually say Mr. Robot was probably my favorite show of all time. I swear to God. Let's say if I, if this car breaks. Looks like the walls of someone's house who smoked inside for 30 years. Have you ever been in someone's house who smokes inside? And I'm not talking the occasional like cigarette. I'm talking like the three packs a day. That shit is disgusting. The walls aren't even what bother me. Whenever I walk into a house that uh people smoked in i feel like you feel gross like forget forget the walls forget the furniture when, like when you walk in it's like a smoke screen you walk in and you just kind of feel like damn seven years later it's still bled through i have a friend who just actually bought a house uh from some family friends who did smoke inside and the filtering in the house, the air filter in the central air was disgusting. What my friend did was he literally stripped out the drywall and redid all the drywall. Literally just got rid of it all and said, fuck this. 
because he originally was going to paint over it but instead he just nope i'm good and he uh he he ripped out all the walls he stripped out all of the lining for the uh insulation and he stripped everything out of the filtering that went through a central air in the house and literally hired somebody to clean every single vent completely just gutted the place drywall sucks i'll never do that again uh i'd soon i'd sooner uh starve to death oh i could talk to you about drywall i don't actually mind drywall drywall was a bitch but it was easy to work with the thing i didn't like was the insulation after doing construction and working with insulation i would rather break both my legs and be chair bound for the rest of my life than ever have to sit and do insulation again it is the most miserable shit to work with you feel awful forever i no i i'm, I'm sorry i like insulation is the worst i didn't i didn't know what hate was until i learned what insulation was beyond atrocious abysmal i will help anybody redo stuff if they ever needed it tile work i'm good at um stuff like that i love tiling grouting i'm good with all that uh drywall i'm good with framing i'm okay with i don't i'm not good with measuring but i'm i'm, I'm good at actually framing um yeah in insulation you better find somebody that you really like and somebody who is willing to actually help you because i won't be there i'm sorry i'm good i hated doing hvac and mobile homes in florida boot i could only imagine the shit you had to go through i'd imagine a lot of people smoke inside in florida it's too fucking hot maybe maybe i'm wrong for saying that but am, am i right to say that people probably smoke a lot inside in florida or am i making a generalization i i need an expert would be a good pick for that to the next spot for movies a lot of car smoking i won't lie i do smoke cigars in my truck my truck is also old and uh I kind of don't mind smoking in my truck. Um, Cause I know that it's not affecting anybody else, but me. I, I just, I don't drive a new vehicle. Okay. I smoked outside at night during the day and it already uh, feels like a blow dryer in the face. Yeah. Oh, asbestos. Yeah. You know, what's funny. I, I don't know if I ever worked with asbestos, but the house I worked in most definitely had asbestos in it. Uh, one of the houses I worked in and I remember for like a month, my voice was gone. I was so raspy. I was coughing every day. Looking back at it, I probably really like fucked up my lungs and didn't even realize. Yeah, what's crack? I know I know that's kind of like sad to say, but I'm I'm pretty sure I probably fucked up my lungs at one point. 
smoke any new cigar brands lately i you know what's funny i am uh i just bought a jc newman black diamond that i would love to smoke at some point it's an expensive cigar but i'm getting into jc newman a little bit uh because i think they're based out in florida but um i'm, I'm getting into jc newman a little bit Oh, I don't even want to look up asbestos under a microscope. I know what it did to me for a month. I was, my nose, I was blowing my nose and I, it was just black for like a month. We have no good, good cigars here in Canada. I mean, really? Yeah, JC Newman's good. They actually make like brick house and stuff too, which are on the lower end. But um, what's the one I just had? Not an AG Fernandez. I had a, oh my God. Dude, I don't know what spot this is going to spawn, but I really hope it doesn't blow up. Um, Please, 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 please. Okay, that works. Um, uh, is one that they rolled in front of me? Oh yeah, definitely. That that's the good stuff. They were the best. You know what's funny? I've had good Cuban cigars. Uh, I was not actually a fan. I just had an Arturo Fuente, and I haven't had a lot of Fuentes in my life. I also just bought finally and I haven't smoked this one either. This is another special occasion to smoke. I just bought an Opus X, a Fuente Opus X Robusto. I've been looking for one for a good part of like two years. No one sold them. And I found a shop here and I asked them like, do you guys sell an Opus X? And they're like, we do, but we keep them in the back. I'm like, can I please? Never had one, but I have one in my humidor and I'm waiting for the right moment to smoke it. Which, honestly, I might do it just for sake of all the good changes happen with stream and with this arc and stuff. I might just use that as my excuse. Oh, this extra special occasion shit. Oh, definitely. Fully ventilated walk-in humidors. I am going to say this. One of my favorite experiences. Oh, I, I forgot. <laughs> you guessed purple and you were fucking right. How? Jesus Christ. That's crazy. Okay. I forgot to even mention it. But, uh... One of my favorite experiences is sitting at a cigar lounge and just enjoying myself. I, I like the, like when I was in school, I used to go to a cigar lounge, buy a cigar, bring my laptop, and I used to have a cigar and write essays. One of the coziest experiences, you just draw on headphones. <laughs> Actually, it's lavender. <laughs> uh, Kirby, it's Sky Lizard. I'm sorry, I, I I missed the message. Hold on, I'll. Ah, uh, there we go. Um. So you mentioned cigars. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I do like a hookah lounge too. In fact, some of my favorite experiences at a hookah lounge, unironically, I'm not just saying this to say it, I mean this. I had some damn good run-ins and experiences at hookah lounges in at TwitchCon with uh I, I think it was Kirby Enzigi. We were hanging out. It was a really good time. We just got to hang out, had a couple drinks. Hookah is so good. I fucking love hookah. 
Every once in a while, hookah with some friends is a really good time. Yes. Yeah, Kirby. That, that, that was when it was. It was 